Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Reflection Overview. This video pretty much marks an end of the Quest Pro era in terms of footage and there's still some leftovers though they're currently being stuck in the playthrough playlist that won't be released anytime soon and I can't really do much about it. So today is kind of like an unofficial ending to the whole situation but then in the future there still might be some content dropped by. It was an interesting situation going from Quest 2 to the Quest Pro. This Despite the price and all of the discussions on the space, it saved my ass in multiple occasions and considering the headset could have been way better executed. I do hope that Meta one day will give it a second shot with the second generation that actually is going for the best VR hardware out there. So Reflection is an oriental puzzle adventure game where you're exploring the worlds and different environments going through a set of mirrors that challenge your brain presenting a variety of types of puzzles and your goal is to set foot on the most famous imaginary garden of China. This is something I got an access to, I believe, when I was still in the US. It has a very specific vibe going on, which you're either a fan or not, so bear that in mind going into this experience. At the time of playing this, the core game was relatively solid, although it was using like an old school system of the mechanics and locomotions, interactions, almost like you'd go back in time. It kind of reminded me of Shadow Point, which is an all time class and everybody knows about it. The ambience is very much peaceful, not chaotic at all and brings you into a completely different atmosphere that we have going on in the world. At this point in time I can't recall from the top of my head many stuff but there were certainly stuff to upgrade on but essentially the game seemed finished and looking at the dates and the developers they might have moved on as well so this is just a product to enjoy and not much else gonna be happening with it in the future. Let's go to the gameplay! Trigger to grab the lantern. I mean, shouldn't that not be the grab one actually? <laughs> Press to teleport. Okay, but first of all, do we have some settings here? We do, but there's nothing. <laughs> like, no locomotion settings, no button preference, so I'll have to push through. Do I place this or something? So I need two lanterns? Oh, I can't move without it. Interesting. <laughs> I wouldn't say a smooth start, but a unique one, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, you literally can't move without it. And the hand that actually has it can move. Such a weird solution. What do you mean? Physically? <laughs> Okay. 
Wait, did something change here? Not for now, but... The game's concept is about reflection, so... That it just reminds me how I hate to teleport. Oh my god, another lantern. It's like they block us in place to not move around while solving stuff, maybe? Yeah, I know, but it's not enough for me. <laughs> They need to be activated, I think, to pass. Okay. <laughs> I see now. Thing is that the concept is very similar to Shadow Point, which I think I will be very much comfortable with. What together pollen for the butterfly? <laughs> So we're just collecting flowers for our home. Somewhere. So I should place lanterns. Doesn't matter if they lit up or not. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Can I take two lanterns? Okay, that was fairly simple.
In terms of graphics, I mean, it's okay, like it has its own vibe. Doesn't need to like change its aesthetics to be nice to play. A bow mechanics, okay, well that's my specialty. So first of all, <laughs> when you grab the string, Wait, what? Am I crazy? Like, I thought the bow was locked in position where you want to shoot. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, I mean, the accuracy is... Okay, like, it's not crazy. Can I move with it? Uh Why did we do that? Ah, I see. I guess some mechanics would not work with teleportation, but you can just do a mixed solution. What do I shoot? The bow goes for some reason to up, like if I hold it with my left hand here and pull the string, like it doesn't move I have to do it with my left not with the right which some games do that but see like this is not an accurate movement at all what do I do? <laughs> Something's here. But what that changes? I just need to shoot this vase. Yeah, that's doable. The position kind of bothers me. Okay, that wasn't too bad.
complete chapter. Oh, so it was like a full storyline or whatever. <laughs> I see we have six chapters and I guess this is like the final something. I mean, the game is cute, though I would work on the basics, like more stuff going on in the menu, like just to modify your experience. The bow mechanics also could be better, like not necessarily maybe the shooting, but just the positions and the angles, like anyone that likes bow <laughs> gameplay knows what I'm talking about. It's very like peaceful and logical experience, like there's some mysterious ambience going on and not everything is clear at the first sight, but once completed it makes sense, so it's not like it's taking its solutions from the behind. It's very specific, like nothing crazy going on, if it's the art style, all the music or just anything in general. Depends if you like the Chinese aesthetic and the puzzle genre on top of it. It's still in development, so there's a lot of room for growth and my advice is basics first and then more complicated stuff. <laughs>